It starts off okay, and then it's just... Then there's the butthole. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one was fun. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Rotner Rebel. I'm here with Sandra Salomon Fragrance. Yes, hello. And we are back with yet another first impression. And this time around, we are going to check out Zoologist. Yeah. Uh, so I heard about Zoologist, I believe like three or four years ago, okay. or maybe longer. Yeah, probably 2015 or something. Uh, and I read about, I can't remember if it was a perfume named Beaver. Ah. Mm, but I read about it in like, yeah, I don't know if it was like New York Times or something, when they were uh, talking about challenging fragrances. Okay. And uh, that one sort of caught my interest. Uh, and now we are here and we are going to try out 16, yup, 16 uh, different ones from Zoologist. Have you tried anything from Zoologist? No, I haven't, ah. uh, but I've read about them and I have been recommended them. Ah. So this is going to be fun. Yeah, some of you guys have been asking for uh, me to do a first impression of Zoologist, so here we are, and I say that we should just get busy, right? Yeah. Let's do this. So first up is Hummingbird. Here you go. Okay. And I'm going to read the note. So we have apple, cherry, citrus. Oh my God, this is going to take like an hour. Uh, <laughs> Muge, plum, rose, violet leaf. Then we have honey, honeysuckle, lilac, mimosa, peony, tulip, and ylang. And then at the base we have amber, cream, coumarin, moss, sandalwood, whitewood, woods, and musks. So, so quite a complex one. Yeah. So. What I can pick up is the cherry and the tulip. Mm. So what do you think uh, about this and one? And you can really feel that it's uh, it has so many notes. Because nothing is really punching you in your nose. <laughs> no, it's quite... Uh, I mean, it is a complex uh, one with a lot of uh, notes. And you can really feel that when you take a smell. Uh, to me, I really pick up the honey. Yeah. I had to uh, check that it was honey. So to me, this is like a honey. Was it florals as well? Um, yes. Some different florals. Yeah. You like it? I think it's cool. Yeah. I I cannot uh, re remember if I tried anything similar like this before. So I have perfumes with honey in them. Yeah. Uh, but not with honey, the floral side and then the rest of the notes that, that's in this one. So this was cool. Uh, yeah. How do you feel about this one? If you are going to rate it between one to 10? I think I'm gonna give it a five. A five. I'm not so into florals. Um, ah. So this is not my kind of fragrance. I think, uh, I mean, I, I admire straight from the first one we try, I, I admire the, the piece of art that this one is. Uh, and it's quite cool, uh, but I don't think this is something that I would wear. No. Um, so I am going to give it maybe five and a half. Uh, okay. And before we move on, I just want to say I think they, I think they changed the the design of the samples now uh, yeah, because when I go to their bad. website, they are white. Uh, okay. But I mean, these are beautiful. Look at this. You have a piece of artwork. I'm not sure if you can see that. Let's cover your face. <laughs> so you have that piece of artwork. And then when you open it up, let's cover everything up here. Uh, you have all the notes uh, and beautiful artwork. I mean, these. this is the way I think most should do their samples. Yeah, this is a, the, the way to present yeah. the fragrance. Beautiful, yeah. uh, beautiful work, Zoologist. Keep on, I hope you keep on doing uh, them like this. This is amazing. Let's move on to the next one. Yeah. So next up we have Elephant. Here okay. you go. I'm gonna quickly read out the notes. We have t tree leaves, yeah. Darjeeling tea, magnolia. Then we have cocoa, coconut, wow. Milk, incense, jasmine, woody notes, and then at the base, amber, musk, patchouli, and sandwood. So I mean, like a crazy bunch of I'm sorry, but there's no coconuts in here. Really? What it does smell like is exactly how I think it smells when you see the elephants mm -hmm. uh, eating from the trees. Mm -hmm. So when you said tree notes, it was like, yeah, this is tree notes. 
It is like yeah. a tree knot, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is cool. It's it makes it sort of takes me back to like uh, one of the resorts I was in in Thailand. Ah. Uh, and a lot of the uh, cool resorts are like sm smack right in the middle of like a jungle. Yeah. Uh, and this feels like I'm like, in, in the jungle <laughs> and sniffing. I don't know what I'm sniffing, but like uh, jungle leaves. I don't know. Yeah, but and when I first smelled it, I, I was like, well, would anyone want to smell like a tree? Mm. But this gets better. It's interesting. And I do love that they have, they also have a pretty nice um, story behind each perfume. Okay. Uh, and this one apparently won the Art and Olfaction Awards. No, this one was a finalist at the oh. Art and Olfaction Awards in 2018. Okay. So I think, I think this is, this is, this is really fun. It is. Uh, And maybe it's that I need to be more adjusted to these kind of scents. Yeah. Uh, because automatically I think that this one is something that is not going to be as attractive or mass appealing like no. a lot of the other more common. Yes. And that's, I believe that's the case. Yes. Uh, but I mean, I would love to try this one out on my skin and just walk around the entire day smelling like this. Yeah. Just to see if I would get used to this kind of scent. Yeah. You gotta be open-minded, you gotta try new stuff. And also, because in my past experience, these kind of scents do not generate the same amount of attraction or attention, no. uh, or just, you know, overall sort of likability as the more modern, sweet, uh, woody fragrances. No. So I would be curious to try, and one day I am going to do that, and I might actually try it with this one. Uh, but uh, with that said, how do you feel about it? Is it for men, women, unisex? Would you use it? Um, if so, how are you going to rate it? Uh, please do write all that down and <laughs> email me all your ass. No, <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Let's... So, yeah. How so, do you feel about it? Um, no, I wouldn't use it. Mm -hmm. No, I wouldn't enjoy it on a man. Um, if you do like those kind of green fragrances, I'm betting this is a good one because it smells well composed mm. but this is definitely nothing that makes me feel good mm. so this is a two for me wow yeah and exactly sort of what i said recently that this is i mean this is not something that is part of the common uh kind of perfumery that most of people out there are used no. to no. which is the reason why most people would not most people would rate it the way you did yeah and which is the reason why, I mean, I'm not used to this kind either, which is why I don't have a lot of these. But I, it would be it, it would be fun to see how the experience of wearing this would be. Yeah, the thing is, but when I try doing something like that, I just walk around the whole day and think of, oh, I could have smelled so good. Ah, and I'm yeah. here with this one. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> so you gave it a two. Yeah. Uh, now I don't think this one is a two because it's 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 uh, really a fun and exciting one uh, and it's truly well made uh, and it, I mean you could spray this at your in your house no no <laughs> okay okay okay, uh, okay. <laughs> anyway moving on uh, I think I'm gonna give this yeah at least a five uh, wow. and I think if you love sort of a green sense then you really need to check this one out. So that was Elephant. Next up we have Makake. Okay. And that's a type of monkey. Or Makake is, yeah, something yeah, like that. that's something. Uh, like that. So we have a top nose cedar, green apple, red mandarin, heart nose frankincense, galbanum, honey, rosewood, ylang ylang, jasmine tea at the base. We have cedar moss, green tea, white, white oud and musk. So exciting yeah. mix of so, uh, notes. Apple tea and oud, I would say. Mm. Kind of cool. I like this one better than the other one, but this also has more sweet elements. This is cool. Yeah. 
it, it really smells niche. Yeah. Uh, and I would say this is more approachable than the previous one. Yes. Uh, and this is something that you could actually, I mean, um, it's wrong of, of me to say that you couldn't use that, the other one. Uh, yeah. But this is something more that more people would enjoy on you and more people would enjoy wearing as well. Yeah, and I think this is something that people would think smells good and interesting. They would be like, hey, what is that? Yeah, and I love that it has a bit of depth, but there's something light and airy about yeah. it. And I can't put my finger on if it's maybe it's the frankincense. Uh, I get a bit bit of that apple, but not too much. I definitely yeah. pick up of the woody notes. I don't pick up that much of the honey. No, but I do but, think uh, that the cardamom is, it's definitely not prominent, but it's there in the background the whole way, the whole time. But I love like it because there is no cardamom, cardamom in it. Yes, there is. Ah! Oh. <laughs> But there is something, sp I was just about to say that it's there in the background, but not like normal cardamom, ah. like a green cardamom. Mm, yeah. So it's something else uh, that I think on. smells like green cardamom. So what do you think about macaque? 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 I think it gets um, five. Five? Yeah. Ah, okay. And is it for men, women, both? both. Ah, okay. Yeah. It's cool. Mm, but I would not wear it no. uh, and this is weird and I'm surprising myself here but I, I think this one is less actually even though I just said recently that this is more approachable than the other one are you going to rate yeah, this lower this than elephant? this is like elephants? four and a half wow uh, I think there's something about this one that I don't know <laughs> Four and a half or five um, from me. So makake, interesting one nonetheless, and yeah. uh, truly well made. Yeah. Yeah. Next up, we have a moth. Here you go. Thank uh, you. The notes are black pepper, cinnamon, clove, cumin, lemon, nutmeg, saffron, heliotrope, iris, jasmine, mimosa, muge, rose, and at the base we have ambergris, honey again. Yeah. Uh, resins, gayak wood, uh, musk, nagar, motha, oud, patchouli, smoke, and vetiver. Wow. wow. Yeah. But quite an exciting, again, uh, blend of notes. Yeah. Um, it's spicy. You can definitely feel the patchouli. You can feel the honey. But this smells kind of oldish to me. Like old fragrances. I agree with you. This there's something about it that smells a bit old, uh, and yeah, my experience uh, being out and about among a lot of people tells me that uh, if I would put this one on, uh, I would get attention, but it wouldn't be a positive attention. It would be like who smells funky? Yeah, and who. Who didn't who, wash their clothes? Yeah, today. exactly. Who did, who went up to the attic and pulled down some old clothes and put them on? Yeah. Yeah. So sorry. This uh, is this is we're never gonna be sponsored by Zoologist. So how either. are you going to rate moth from Zoologist? This is a one. I think one. it's too funky. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, yeah. I don't want to be beat too rough on this one yeah. so i'm just gonna not say much more else than <laughs> i give it i think i'm gonna give it a one or two as well yeah. um but there are uh, there are people out there yeah that enjoy this kind of scent yes it's just not a, a mod it's definitely not a modern scent no no uh yeah so that was moth next up we have high racks here you okay. go uh, I'm not sure what Hyrex is, looks like a beaver. Hmm. Mm, and then we have Elemi, Pink Pepper, Saffron, Turkish Rose, African Stone, Hyacinth, Styrax, and Whiskey, Amber, Benzoin, Musk, Patchouli, Sandalwood, and Tonka. And once again, I am, oh wow, <laughs> I am Should really I sort of excited about the, the note. Should I say what it smells like? Like what? Are you sure? Like pee. No, like... No. Like what? An but, animal's butt. But, oh, <laughs> whoa. 
yeah, you are not going to be sponsored by Zoologist. No, this is a very animalic fragrance. <laughs> I, like, I do like that this one takes me on a trip. Uh, so I actually, so when you go along the strip, it starts off okay, and then it's just... Then there's the butthole. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this one was fun. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm trying to understand. I'm reading the... I'm reading the... Um, so it, it says something about animalic tendencies. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it doesn't say anything about animal butt. <laughs> Uh, so, so how are you going to rate this scent of an animal's I'm animal going to butt? say, like you said once, no. Ah, uh, okay, no. okay, so this is just a no. No. I'm gonna give this butthole uh, a splendid one. Wow! Uh, that's pretty good for this kind of scent. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was interesting, that was Hyrax. Yes. Next up we have Nightingale, here okay, you go. Okay, sounds good. This one looks interesting and the notes are bergamot, lemon, saffron, then we have Japanese plum blossom, red rose and violet, and then we have ambergris, frankincense, uh, labdanum, moss, oud, patchouli, sandalwood and white musks. I mean, this one looks good on paper. Yeah, a floral, musky one mm. and kind of soapy. Um, nothing really unique or new. Smells like something I've smelled mm, before. Maybe like something I smelled before, but with a twist. Um, mm, again, not my kind of scent, but uh, compared to the other previous ones, this one is, I would say, definitely more approachable. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and <clears throat> definitely a lot sort of a lighter floral with the citrusy top yeah um so not bad not bad but i'm only gonna give it a three wow um it really doesn't do it for me yeah mm, not me me neither uh i think you're pretty right like like a three or four from me next up we have panda here you go yeah. i love pandas and this one has apple, lily, magnolia, mandarin, tea, osmanthus, and ozone. And then at the heart we have <laughs> amber, earthy notes, uh, jasmine, oris, and patchouli. And then at the base, civet, musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. Wow. What do you get? I don't know, actually. Mm -hmm. Maybe some, of, was there tea in it? This one was... I get a bit of the animalics, uh, yeah. but it was done in a kind of exciting way. I would say that this is not the... So there's tea in it, yeah. Yeah. So maybe some tea together with some greens and maybe something flowery, but just a hint. Uh, and the animalics is not that funky kind of animalics. There's a, a, the, I would say there's definitely a, a hint of funkiness, but in this one it's not overbearing like no, the previous yeah. ones um i think there's a, something cool about this one mm. would you use it i would love to try it but there is like this i think this balances between something that would be kind of cool and something that is not kind of cool so um, you said that you want to try this one and you also wanted to try wearing the elephant one. Yeah. Uh, so this week I would like you to smell elephant and panda only. I'm, I'm actually going to try them and I'm going to go out and I'm going to ask people how they feel about me smelling yeah, like panda and fun. elephant. And I'll see uh, the reactions. Uh, I'm going to guess that. Maybe I should come along with the camera. Maybe get, drop a like uh, if you want to. You want her to uh, follow along with the camera. Yeah. Uh, but how are you going to rate this one, the panda? A three. Hmm. It's weird. I mean, in the beginning, it smells exciting because my nose hasn't sort of experienced it before. 
but then on the second or third sniff you sort of get bored of it and think that it's heavy in different ways yeah um but i do think that there's some element of this one that feels more approachable and it definitely feels less heavy than the others so a bit better so i'm going to give it maybe four and a half next up we have rhinoceros and based on the picture uh, this is going to be a challenging one but i could be wrong the notes are rum yes bergamot lavender elemi sage armoire uh, conifer needles not sure what that is tobacco cedar tobacco yeah uh, geranium, pine wood, agar wood, immortelle, and then at the base, sandalwood, wood, amber, smoke, vetiver, musk, and leather. I mean, crazy busy with the notes. Yeah. But quite a few notes that I love. Tobacco, leather. Um, the only thing I can smell is the first things you said. Something woody and something... Mm. Rum, uh, bergamot, rum. lavender, yes, elemi, sage. Yes, some kind of booze. Mm. Um, together with some like woody notes but I'm I would like it to be maybe a little bit more sweet the crazy thing is this one has something in it that smells like uh, I don't know if it's yeah it smells like um, like when I was a kid uh, we ha had a house uh, and when that house had been left over like a longer period of time without anyone ah, being there yeah. it sort of had not exactly this one a much lighter one than this but yeah. there's something um, I don't know how to describe it like if you leave a, <clears throat> an empty yeah. space you know and it just gathers I can almost kind. get what you're uh, saying because we also had a house when mm. I was small and I'm thinking that was like a tree house. Mm. So you definitely get the, the, at least to me, the woody side of it. Yeah. Uh, but I don't pick up that much of the smoke, the tobacco. So I think this one is, again, interesting. But is it something that I would wear? No. no. Uh, and is it something that I believe uh, uh, the majority out there, even though you don't have to try and reach the majority with your sense no. it's your personal yeah. thing uh, but it, it, it is fun in one way or another if you know that those around you at least enjoy it a little bit yeah um no for yeah me. So, so what are you gonna um, give this one this is a three for me three yeah mm. uh, when i think about these that we have tried so far it's like they all are interesting scents mm. But it's not something I want to put on my body yeah. and smell like. Yeah. I mean, the smell of a house that has been left for, for a while yeah. is a cool smell, but I don't want to smell like it. No, no. And when you think about it, when you come to those houses, the first thing you usually do is open up yeah. and let the fresh air <laughs> yeah. in. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't want to be that one where people think, like, hey, we, we got to open the door on this dude. Um, <laughs> So yeah, and Rhinoceros gets a two for me. Next up, we have Tyr Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Uh, wow, funky guy. So. Uh, so we have bergamot, black pepper, fir, laurel leaf, neroli, nutmeg. And then we have champaka, geranium, mm. jasmine, roses, mathers, ylang ylang. And then we have resin, cade, cedar, civet. Frankincense, leather, vanilla, sandalwood, and patchouli. Wow, I mean, and these are busy, busy. Uh, dinosaur, because mm -hmm. this smells just like a dinosaur, mm -hmm. or how I imagine that a dinosaur smells. Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, wow. Yeah. Um, like, a, like a dinosaur's scrotum. <laughs> When he hasn't sort of been to the ocean in a while. <laughs> yeah, this is... My God, I don't know what to say. So I get yeah, that... This there is, is ancient scrotum <laughs> perfume. Of course, there are people out there who love these fragrances because they make these. Yeah. But I just don't get it. Mm. I can't imagine how this can smell good to anyone. And, and, and guys, uh, listen, uh, I, the, I'm not saying that this is a bad scent. So when I, no. when I give it an 
one or zero or, or three, whatever. It's just that I don't think it's something for me. Yeah. But uh, and I guess this is, goes the same for you. Yeah. Uh, but I do recognize that we are all different. We have different uh, noses. We enjoy different kinds of scents and different kinds of notes and scents uh, triggers different kinds of memories and gives us all different kinds of experiences. Yeah. So this is when we say that this is a one and we make fun of it. It's just because we really don't feel that this is something for us. Yeah. But. Uh, with that said, there's there's someone out there that is going to love this one. Yeah. Uh, and at the same time, I mean, I'm not. Uh, we are not sort of jumping on a zoologist and saying that uh, they make uh, bad no, perfumes. No. Uh, I mean, I respect every single one who creates a perfume because that, to me, is a piece of art. And I love creative people. Yeah. So uh, it, this is just a personal preference. I would not walk around smelling like a Tyrannosaurus Rex unwashed scrotum. So this is <laughs> not for me. Uh, so what are you going to give this uh, Rexy? I'm sorry. No again. Uh, no I again. Can't. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. No, no. This is not for me either. <laughs> so uh, maybe I'm going to be nice and like 0.5. Uh, so that was Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next up we have Bat. Here you go. I'm okay. going to quickly read out the notes. Banana. Wow. Soft fruits, damp earth. Wow. Yeah, damp earth. Yes. Fig, tropical fruits, mineral notes, myrrh, resins, vegetal roots, and then furry musks, leather, vetiver, sandalwood, and tonka. And once again, the note just makes me go crazy. I don't know what to make out of it. No, this is damp earth. It smells mm. just like when you like pulled up carrots or potatoes from the, what do you say? From the earth? From the <laughs> earth. <laughs> yeah, uh, it smells just like that. Or when you really are pulling out worms from the earth to maybe go fishing. Mm -hmm. Have you done it? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Unbelievable. I didn't know. I mean, if... if if earth smells like this, uh, then I think it's pretty cool. Wow. Because I don't think this smells bad. So I'm going to, I got to read the, the, the story. Uh, Zoologist Bath escort, escorts you on an odyssey through the night. The unique olfactory experience carries you with the fruit bath to a sumptuous feast in a lush tropical jungle before whisking you down to the recesses of its Carnivore, carnivores home sweet figs and soft fruits ensnare you with addictive notes so i don't get that earthy thing i just get something like sweet and cool i, okay. I think honestly it's interesting you, you i mean for you like we just mentioned this gives you uh it makes you reminiscent about you pulling um uh, what worms, did you say? worms yeah and uh, even though i am not that experienced when it comes to uh, worth worm pulling uh, <laughs> are you sure about that mm, uh, <laughs> this one no this is not the scent of earth okay so but yeah uh, i think this one was cool i'm i'm so glad that we find I, I, at least i finally found something in this one in this uh, first impression that I feel is pretty cool. I'm going to give this a one. Whoa. <clears throat> but it it gets a rating. That's a good thing. No, this is... Uh, honestly, I think this one, if this one would have been something uh, in the counter of uh, Byredo, you would go like, hey, this is pretty cool. Yeah. No. Uh, so at least five and a half from me. Next up, we have the one I mentioned in the beginning, and I believe it was Beaver that I read articles about. Uh, so this one has fresh outdoor air as top yeah. notes. Wow. Uh, linden blossom, wood shavings, and wi wild vegetation. Then we have damp air, dry wood, light musk, water, and then at the base, heavy musks, dark woods, Vanilla, amber, castorium, and leather. This is the best up until now. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, it's kind of airy, fresh, 
light. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I mean, I was expecting something when it has castorium, something that would be uh, more animalic and all. Yeah, but, uh, not so much. This is airy, but in a sort of a green or woody or foresty way. So yeah. if I really put my nose to it, I can pick up something that feels like almost I would walk into um like a, a woods you know to yeah. the woods um so, as you can hear i'm not an experienced woodwalker no <laughs> i could barely say the sentence uh, i'm a city boy <laughs> i love beautiful beaches though uh, but uh, i think this this is kind of nice yeah it's better than the others and it does smell <clears throat> like a light wood uh mixed with some cucumber mm so how are you going to give, uh, what are you going to give this light um, beaver? <laughs> this beaver gets a two. A two? Yeah. Whoa. No, I had, I had far worse. Beavers. Than, uh, yeah, beaver sense. Uh, <laughs> this beaver is <laughs> fairly okay. <laughs> um, this beaver gets uh, maybe three and a half for me. Next up we have camel. Here you go and I hope this is not going to be like a camel's bottle. <laughs> uh, we have top notes, uh, dried fruits, frankincense, palm, date and rose. So I get expect something floral and sweet. Yeah. And then we have amber, cedar, incense, uh, cinnamon, jasmine, myrrh, orange blossom. And then at the base, civet, musk, sandalwood, oud, tonka, vanilla, and vetiver. This is like incense, <clears throat> incense, rose, and something smoky. Mm -hmm. I'm curious though. I think this is, again, this is kind of exciting. Uh, I'm not saying it's good but it's exciting. It's like um, walking into, uh, let's say, like an exotic kind of restaurant and you pick out all these different scents in the air from the cooking. Um, but, and I'm really curious how this one sort of settles on the skin after like two hours and starts spreading through the air. I could, I think this one could actually work. That's what I'm saying. Mm, you don't agree. <laughs> okay, so so let's cut to the chase. What are you gonna give camel? One. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Mm. This one could work, and uh, I'm gonna actually try this one day out and see how it is like after two hours um, on skin. But currently, uh, maybe two. Next up, we have chameleon. Here you go. Thank you. Try it out. I'm gonna read the notes and uh, like a ton of notes as usual here. Uh, bergamot, lemon, ylang, mango, pink pepper, star fruit, and violet leaf. The top seems nice. Yeah. Cashmere and clove, coconut, frangipani, jasmine, saffron, salty skin accord. Uh, so far pretty good. Yeah. And then we have amber woods or pop or nax, my favorite, patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, and vetiver. Nothing crazy about no. this one. Uh, <clears throat> finally, something I actually enjoy. This mm. is. I can pick up the fruits and the salty notes, mm. and it's quite cool. This one was, uh, I agree, this one was cool. Not sure um, how I am going to rate it though, but uh, definitely something that feels light. I'm not going to say fresh. Uh, whoa. <laughs> a bit green, a bit citrusy, yeah. a bit fruity. Mm. Yeah, definitely. So what are you going to give this one, <clears throat> which both of us seem kind of positive to? This gets a four. Four? Yeah. Uh, okay. I agree. I think if they would have sort of a, if, if some notes were probably would have been removed from this one, 
this one could have been really cool but there's something in it that yeah. pokes me in my nose yeah in a and way that i don't maybe enjoy it went a little bit heavier on the fruits but i'm guessing that this is a brand that who doesn't use so many fruits in their fragrances mm. yeah did i give it a two no no what did but you now give you it? did <laughs> did you give it a two no i gave it a four a four yeah oh. I don't know. There's something that pokes me in the nose. I want to like it, but it's because there are parts of it that I enjoy. Yeah. But no, uh, maybe two or three. Wow. Next up, we have civet, and there's uh, this uh, civet uh, on it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, who would have guessed? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna guess this is crazy musky or something. But we have uh, bergamot, black pepper, lemon, orange spices, tarragon. And then we have carnation, frangipani, heliotrope, hyacinth, linden blossom, tuberose, and ylang. So like a, a heavy floral mid. Yeah. And then at the base we have balsam, civet, coffee, incense, labdanum, musk, oak moss, resins, Russian leather, vanilla, vetiver, and wood. Yeah. And this is quite okay. And um, I do pick out the leather. And mm. I'm guessing that's what, what makes me like it a bit. Mm. Yeah. So... Yeah, I pick up the leather as well, but there's something else in it. I think it could be the animalic side of it. Um, I think the animalic side is actually quite nice in this mm -hmm, one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the mids were packed with florals, but... Yeah. Can't pick up so many florals. Yeah, it's not heavy on the florals no. to me yet, which is weird. No. Um, this is a tough one. I mean, it's not bad, but there's something in it that reminds me of something else that we tried before. Ah. And that something feels a bit oldish and something that, again, I don't like and I don't believe a lot of people would enjoy it on me. No. So I, I do start to get a sense of the, the, the way zoologist puts together their perfumes yes. even though they are different there's something there's like this thin red line that goes yeah. across them all and they are definitely something for niche heads yeah and for a really niche part of the niche heads yes so yeah. even though you love niches that you that's not gonna you know uh, mean that you are going to love these no. uh, so i really would love to uh, love this one uh, but again i don't but i think th this one is probably one of the best ones from so far yeah i think i'm gonna give it a three a three yeah and yeah there's something i did i think it's that sort of oldish feeling i get with this one as well so this is not something I enjoy, and I, uh, I think I'm going to go lower than you, like a two. Next up, we have Doo Doo. Uh, I think it's a Doo Doo, but I don't know. <laughs> uh, uh, so um, top notes, fern, uh, lime, liché, and raspberry. Then we have ambergris, fir, balsam, geranium, and rose. And then at the base, amber, feathery, musk, oak moss, patchouli, and sandalwood. How do you yeah. feel about the doo doo? I do you do like do the doo doo? <laughs> you do it. Uh, I like that it has, whoa, <laughs> uh, the raspberry note. Mm. And that's <clears throat> that's what makes this an okay fragrance. <laughs> yeah, it's it's not nothing bad, but I'm no. start, starting to get a headache. Uh, <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's just cut yeah. to the chase. What are you gonna give do do you seem to enjoy it a bit? More <laughs> but the thing is now I only compare compare it to those that I really didn't even that I couldn't even wait mm. so it's a two mm. Yeah um, Maybe one and a half or two from me last we have a dragonfly Please let uh, this yeah be yeah let's hope so and we have the top uh, all the highs heliotrope lemon peony and rainwater then we have cherry blossom clover iris lotus and rice and at the base amber moss musk papyrus and sandalwood finally one that mm -hmm. i think that people would actually think smells good this mm. is a good flowery one 
with some sweetness in it. I agree. I agree. That one was interesting. You just repeated yourself. I did? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and the best thing is that you said that you agree uh, two times. No, this one was um, interesting, yeah. definitely. Mm. <clears throat> and so. there's actually a picture of uh, violet flowers in the mm, box. In the box, and yeah. this actually smells like violet flowers. I think uh, there's some sweetness to it. What could that be? Um, I don't know if it's the rice, um, but... Um, the cherry blossom, can, maybe? But I, I do think that this is something that uh, if you would put it on, a lot of people would actually enjoy it. Yeah, and maybe even myself. So I think I'm going to give this a six or a seven. Mm. And what I do enjoy about this is that while it gives me like one a bit of familiarity it does it with a twist as well so there's there's definitely something unique about yeah. it uh, and I am going to agree with you this one I think I was immediately thinking of six so uh, and you said six right six or seven oh, okay yeah. so that was a dragonfly so that was it uh, well how are you going to summarize our experience with zoologist I think you uh, summarized it quite good in ah. the middle of the video. Ah. Uh, this is definitely not bad fragrances and it's just a matter of taste. taste. Yeah. And this is not my taste or mm. style in mm. the fragrances. Um, there were one that was kind of good, mm. uh, but no, this is not fragrances for me. Mm. Um, and if you don't like animalics, this is probably not for you either. No. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I agree with you and I do feel that, uh, would you agree with me if you would, regardless of your taste, would you agree with me that if you would, if someone would put this one on, yeah. like the majority of those around that person would probably not enjoy it. Yeah. And it feels like a horrible thing to say, uh, but I mean, ju it's just that most of our noses are not tuned into this kind of sense. No. We are not... Uh, used to them no. and also just a ma matter of basic sort of a preference what you like this is not something that most people like no I mean uh, there's a reason why sweet fragrances are so popular because sweet a bit of sweetness is actually something that we all it triggers something in us that we enjoy yeah. so um, I do uh, like the creative side that they decided to step out of that easy uh, comfort zone that a lot of other perfume houses yeah. are in that they create these mass appealing kind of perfumes um, um, but the thing is uh, what would be fun is to smell this on someone out on the ta yeah. town uh, because you rarely smell this on someone yeah. Yeah. Uh, so if someone were something like this I would be like hey I don't like how you smell but it's interesting and I think it's cool that you have something that is very different and also, that was the reason why I was curious about at least two of those, to try them out. Because, I mean, when that juice hits your skin and something, some, uh, some action could come along. No, some things could actually change when it sits yeah. on your skin for, let's yeah. say, one or two hours like fully dry down. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I'm going to say I'm int I'm. I'm I'm impressed by the creative side, uh, but these are definitely not for me yeah. and they weren't for you either. And I believe if I would put them on and go out, it would not be something for the majority of those I would meet. No. A lot of people would think that I smell funky. Let's put it that way. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And that's not a good thing. Uh, but yeah, that was it. I hope you guys, guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then I would highly appreciate if you would like this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and that notification bell. And make sure you head on over to yeah. Sandra Salmo Fragrance. I'm going to link to her channel in the description below. Make sure you hit her subscribe her ding ding and uh, notifications <laughs> say hello to her and her and i'll see you in the next one bye bye